Hello friends, welcome back. In this video we will look at the second part of file transfer activity which is the outbound flow. So before I go ahead and configure that in Automation Studio let me show you how the flow actually looks like. Uh, so this is uh, as I showed you earlier the Marketing Cloud instance and we have the Enhanced FTP uh, and our safe house within Marketing Cloud. right? So um, in inbound, we saw the file coming in. So in this particular case, when we, whenever we're looking at for an outbound, it's primarily when we want to like export data out from Marketing Cloud uh, to an external system, right? So for that, we usually have uh, activities uh, such as uh, data extract. Right? So there's a data extract activity, which we'll cover in a future video, uh, uh, using which we can actually like, you know, um, extract uh, the data into a CSV file, or you can even uh, have uh, tracking data uh, you can actually like you know zip it up, uh, and then in different formats you can actually put it into the safe house. Uh, so let's say if you have, uh, well you want to like you know extract data from a data extension, and then um, as a CSV file you want to like you know push it into the safe house, and then from the safe house if you want to like you know move it into an external FTP, uh, we use this file transfer. And the second option that you saw was like move file from safe house. So that actually uh, you'll be able to like encrypt the file. Uh, from the safe house and then move that into the FTP enhanced FTP folder of your choice. Usually there, there is an export folder that you might use or if you want to have a custom folder that you want to use you can use that as well. Uh, again like the option to encrypt is, is like uh, optional uh, but uh, always recommended that you actually keep it secure when you move it into an external FTP. right? So that's the um, outbound flow. So let me go back into Automation Studio here and we will go back to our activities under file transfer go ahead and then create file transfer so I'll just give a name uh, so let's say we want to like uh, export customer data to FTP okay so like we said earlier like instead of using the inbound we will now use the outbound and as as mentioned here, they say that safe house is the location where you I want to keep like decrypted files, or if you want to like move it from marketing cloud into an uh, external file, uh, they say is the better way to like do it for for security purposes, right? Uh, so after you choose the second option here, we move into the configuration. So same thing, like you know how you would actually uh, uh, use the file naming pattern, but in this particular case, you want to like you know use it for an outbound purposes. So if I have it as customer dot CSV, and then if I want to like enable that, yeah, if I want to like encrypt it, um, I would actually put this option here, and then I can use PGP or GPG, right? Uh, in my example, I've actually used PGP encryption. That's the one that I've configured. And in the next video, I'll actually show you like you know how to like you know, get this configuration done within Marketing Cloud so that you can use it, right? Um, and the uh, destination, like you have to like choose which destination folder do you want to choose on the FTP, uh, would you, would you, where you would actually place uh, this particular file after it's been encrypted. So the final result will be like customer.csv.pgp. That's the the final file that will actually get placed on the export folder. Uh, we will have an example of this, uh, something similar to this that we will do in our, uh, you know, a video where I should cover some of these working examples for file transfer as well, right? Um, and then when I click on next here, so this shows you the summary of how this particular uh, file configuration has been done. It says this is the name and we are trying to move a file from the safe house uh, primarily to the external location which is the enhanced FTP. Now one thing I, I probably did not, uh, I forgot to mention is like in here you actually see all these uh, enhanced FTP folders and the safe house, right? Uh, suppose you have like an external FTP, not the enhanced FTP from uh, from uh, SFMC, but then uh, if it's like a totally different uh, location that you have configured. So you can, all these drop down values that you see here are the file locations that I've actually configured within Marketing Cloud. So if you have an external location, an FTP location that you have configured within Marketing Cloud, uh, uh, you can actually see that in the options here and you can directly export it to that folder as well, right? As long as it's, it's there in, in file locations under setup. And I've actually shown that in a previous video, like, you know, how do you actually go ahead and configure uh, file locations in Marketing Cloud, right? So going back here and then it says like, okay, this is the file and it will actually encrypt that in with the PGP and, and we'll be placing it in the export folder, okay? When you click finish, it will actually uh, like save that particular configuration. I won't save it for now. So there is another one that I've actually used in, in previously, like, you know, 
which we will use uh, in a future video like I'm going to show you the example so same thing here I've actually encrypted the order details file um, from CSV it will actually encrypt that as a PGP and place it in the export folder so if I go into uh, an automation here if I want to like uh, to show that as an option I probably have to do a schedule and uh, it will have to be a data extract and after data extract I have to go and choose the file transfer and under the file transfer I have to use that particular one where I say okay use this particular file uh, from the safe house which is the CSV file make it a PGP and then transfer that into the export folder under FTP so that is how the usual flow would look like when you configure that in automation studio right so with that we've covered both the inbound and the outbound flows for file transfer activity in automation studio and like i said um, the next video i'll just um, give you a brief idea of like how do you actually uh, use encryption for file transfer activities and how do you actually configure that in marketing cloud hope you enjoyed the content and thank you for watching